Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how you can add a nice volume discount selector for your product page on Shopify. This is a free way of adding volume discount and it is going to increase your average order value and also conversion. When you offer customers to buy more so they can save more, they are going to um, buy more product, especially if the products are something that can be shared between uh, multiple persons. So let's see how we can create this beautiful volume discount. There are different design and variation for this. I'll show you in a, minute, in a minute how you can configure it. And if this design is not something that you like, this UI is completely customizable. If you have a developer, just let them, just give your design to them. They will customize it for you and um, everything in here is customizable. If you don't have a developer, reach out to us, send your design, we will do it for free if your store is on a paid plan. Okay, let's start and see how we can do it. First of all, you have to install the checkout block um, and bundle app. This will um, provide a lot of functionality for Shopify functions, checkout customization, which we discussed in the previous video. Once you do it, it will uh, come with um, this variation of volume discount. Now, we already have this volume discount. That's why it shows for this product. I'll show you all the settings. Uh, this is how you can create it. Click add. From here, select volume discount. That's all you need to do. For now, we have created this one. If I go to the edit page, I will start creating from scratch too. These are all the settings. This is the title, just for you. In the admin, this will display. Uh, below that, you have all these options. This is the tier one, which is the default, and you also get the preview here. Uh, the tier one, you may not customize this uh, because for a standard one, you just put like the original price. For the second one, you make it more popular and say a lot of people buy this. And every color, every bit, every text in here is customizable. If I go to the tier two, you can see this is the title. This is what user will also see, and this is what user will see in the cart once they um, add two quantity. It has discount type of percentage or fix. You can give them a fix um, discount or percentage. This is the popular label that will display here, and this is the batch, which you can see recommended. And you can also make this pre-selected. You can have only one pre-selected at a time, and let's make the middle one pre-selected. All these colors are for label, text, batch, and also the text for the batch. We have tier two. You can have tier three if you add it. Like you can just see we add um, quantity of four, and it will just uh, populate this data. You can uh, add your own color, but for now I don't need the fourth one. This is the 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 original one that I have and it will show in this product page. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, which is the important part, you should select your product, okay? And it is going to show only for these two products. By default, once you add the volume discount, they will be saved here. Now you have to add this in the product page to show it, okay? By default, we don't do it because of the performance. We can just use JavaScript to inject it directly in the product page. That's not what we do. It, it will um, uh, be another step, which is very easy, but it will have zero impact in the um, content layout shift for your website or like CLS or any of the performance thing, which is very important for the SEO purpose. Now let's go back to the app, click online store. I'll open it in a new tab. Let's go to customize. Let's go to this product page and see how easily it is to add this volume discount. This is what it shows and this is the buy more save more block you just click add block from here you go to the apps you will select volume discount this is all you need to do okay once you add it it will just display right here for now it is not displaying because we already have one of this i'm going to delete this and i'll show you some of the seating available here some of the important one is the title custom handle i'll show you in a minute how useful this one is and there are some different designs, which we call a theme, and this is the classic one. You may add some more space on the top, but for now, if you go to the basic one, this is what will um, you will get. Let's go to the modern, which is a bit different design. These are the pre-designed, pre-selected design that we have, but you can have your own design also. For the selected background, you can you can also change this one, uh, the one which is selected by default you can change the background color text alignment spacing on the top and bottom these are all the options available for you now let's talk about custom handle this will only show for this product in most cases 
you only have one volume discount, which apply for a lot of different products. Now here is the thing. There are times where you have a store and you have different offer. Some products you give them different volume discount, either it's fixed or anything. In those cases, you will create another volume discount. Let's go back to the app. I'm going to create another one and you will select different product, okay? And it will not show it um, for any other uh, product. Let's go here, volume discount. Every time you create one of these, it is going to create an automatic discount. Automatic discounts are limited. So in one store, you will have only five of them. So make sure you use it wisely and you do not create more than five volume discount. For this one, I will call it second volume discount. Let's go with the default setting. I will just change the color for this one a little bit. Um, let me go with this purple, probably a little lighter. And this one also dark purple, something like this. This one is green. Uh, let's go with pink on this one. Let's go with a little bit darker. But it is really up to you to select the color. For me, I will just pick some of the color which I like, like this. Yeah, I know it's a bit uh, like big crazy color, but that's okay. You can also select this option uh, to combine it with product discount, order discount, or shipping discount. And now let's select some product. Let's select a different product. This product, Firming Face Cream. I don't know what is this product. Um, if I save this for now, uh, once it's saved, it should take me to the edit page. Now you have this volume discount and it should show uh, for this specific product. Let's go to this product and see if it exactly works uh, for this one. Let's go to online store. Uh, this is the product ID. Probably I can just uh, search for the ID. Oops, it doesn't work with the product ID. Let's go to this product. Now you might think, oh yeah, it works as expected. Yes, it works here because that is the default and everything is working great. If I go back to my volume discount here, it doesn't work here. It's because it is going to take the last one and display it for you. What I mean is, uh, if you have multiple volume discount, you can see we have one more here. It gives you this custom handle and it's going to uh, show the last one, which is this one, the last one that we created second volume discount it is going to come here and say okay let's see is this product part of that or not it is not it is not going to show here that is the problem okay if you have more than one and that's why we have a solution for this for this one it shows because oh, no, not this one close this for this one it will show the last one because this product is part of it now how do i fix it for this acne product let me show you what i how we can do it once you are in here you can create a different template or you can add multiple version of this. I am happy to create another template specifically for this acne uh, control product. I'm going to call it this one. Let's create it. Once you create this, uh, you can come here. This is, uh, this is not assigned to any product yet. For this one, I'm going to put the custom handle. How do I get the custom handle? You go to the app. Which one is for this product? This volume discount. Go to the edit page this is the id copy this now you will come here paste it now once you do it it is going to use this custom id for this product once you save this next step is you open the product and you assign the template that you created all the way here acne face wash product template. once you do this now if you come here and refresh this it is going to show this properly you can see two different products, they have a different volume discount and they are using different volume discount. Once you add this to the cart, uh, this is how it will display. You save 10% and that is the discount that user will get here. So yeah, that is basically how this volume discount works. I hope this video has been informative. If you have any question, you can always reach out to us. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.